Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Aquarius sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness of the guidance and the possible outcomes for the week. Okay, so we have the world, Major Arcana. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the very adorable Three of Pentacles. So the world here, a beautiful illustration. And the world is, it's, pretty, it's a pretty great card because it signals to us uh, the completion of a goal, of a task, perhaps of a dream or a desire or something that you've been hoping to achieve. And the world tells us that, you know, it's your time to shine. It's your time to be recognized. You've done everything along the way that you need to do in order to feel uh, the reward of success, the celebration, the, uh, the good feeling of a job well done. You know, when it takes time, when you devote energy, when you put yourself into it, when you deal with the hard knocks, you still end, out, end up completing your journey or your task. You know, it is something to celebrate. It is something that makes you feel content or satisfied. So the world brings closure perhaps to one small cycle or journey or task or assignment that you've given to yourself and it opens the way for something else to come in because we just don't stop, we don't pack it up, we continually reset, um, we reset what we want to do, our dreams or desires. And so this is a chance for you to feel good about what you've done, what you've accomplished, what you've put into it. And for some of you, maybe you haven't quite made it there to the, the final part, but you will. This is an indication of success. And with that success, it's an indication of feeling good, feeling content and feeling fulfilled. And what you do in your own life is a smaller part of the world at large. You know, your world is good. And when your world is good, that br brings the light to the rest of the world. So with this world card, here we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups, she's looking right at us and she's maybe offering some cups here and we're looking at these choices. She's, of course, in one of the cups. So when we think of the Seven of Cups, we can think of it as certain ways. We can think of it as having a lot of choices or would it, what if game, you know, what if I went in this direction? It's like a smorgasbord of, of ideas or, or um, ways that we could uh, walk toward, ways or options that we have that each could bring a different result. Sometimes that's paralyzing. Sometimes it's hard to make a choice when you feel that you have so much in front of you, like what's next? Am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? And you can be stuck. And it's, it's from the chaos of having so many choices. There are other times when you just need to let your imagination roam and to anything is possible. I see it all. I can imagine all of them. You know, that's a healthy feeling. That's a good thing because to dream big is to, you know, to affect change. What we want to go to is that ultimately maybe you choose one course to pursue out of all of these wonderful options that could bring very different results to your life. Choose one and pursue it. And when that comes true, then there's many more behind that. So, you know, for some, having so many options can be um, a difficult path to be in because it's just too much, too much stimulation, too much information. For others, it's like, I'm just getting started and I'm going to go in here and then after that, I'm going to do this. And then once I do that, I'm going to do this. And so, you know, I would say dream big, fantasize, visualize, 
and ultimately narrow it down in your next course in what follows the completion here of the world. And then here we have the three of pentacles and I just love, they look like little prairie dogs and they're hanging out and they're maybe they're communicating to each other. So when I see the three of pentacles, I see successful communication. I see people uh, in sync, talking to each other, working towards something that they want to build or create, knowing that it takes time, it takes expertise, it takes um, the willingness to listen to someone else to receive either criticism or feedback in order to move forward. So you have here the dynamic of people working together and perhaps as part of the success here with the world is that you really nailed it when it came to whatever it is you were hoping to do and working together toward a common goal. That could be someone maybe who is a spiritual mentor within your life, someone who is helping you perhaps improve your diet or um, your exercise or your meditation, whatever it may be, working in concert with others, taking it all in, in order to build something, to rebuild something, to create, and to use your talents and your skills to do so. The Three of Pentacles is always an acknowledgement of that you know, everybody has their skill set. Everybody can do something well. And it's a matter of choosing what the ultimate goal is going to be and then being able to communicate and again to convey ideas, plans, logistics to build or to create. So success, vision, completion, you know, we have a nice little mixture here for some of you still working on your journey. You're close. You're going to have success. Options always exist, whether you're in project or out of project and you're thinking about what's next for you, you're always going to have those big ideas. Pursue what you can, maybe chunking it out. And then a, a function of your life, whether it's relationships, whether it's the office relationships, family relationships, things that you want to create or write or dream involve work with others in some shape or form. So very interesting cards for the day. Let's see what we have in terms of numerology. We have 21, 21 and seven is 28 and 28 and three is 31 and 31 reduces to four. Four is about Foundations, it's about stability. And think of a table, the four legs on a table, a solid, well-built foundation. And with that, we can also think of security and we can also think about family. So let's choose an oracle card for additional information. Interesting, impasse. So an impasse is where people or someone, you know, you can't get past. You can't get past where you're trying to go. There's maybe a blockage. There's a stalemate. There's a crossroads. So again, where do we see this? We certainly see this along, uh, along a long-term project. We may have moments when we feel blocked. We may have moments when we feel that we're never going to be successful. We almost in some ways shut ourselves down. So when we reach an impasse, it's important to work through it. And again, what I would say, when we feel this impasse feeling is to communicate with others that you trust, talk things through, walk them through your thinking of what's happening. Maybe that someone else can help break the ice or break the stalemate to help progress to continue to be made. So very interesting. Let me just put that over here. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something here with this reading. 
helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. Those are all great ways to help support the channel. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. And uh, I will take a, I'm taking a mental health break this weekend from the weekly readings. So uh, I'm trying to rest up and to catch my outer health, if you will, in addition to my inner health, I just need to take a little break. So I will see you soon and I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care.